$35 million is coming to Indiana for public housing. 40 public housing authorities will benefit from it. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development is awarding the money. Nearly $5 million is making its way right here to the Wabash Valley. News since Dominic Miranda spoke with one Wabash Valley Public Housing Authority today. He joins us now live in our newsroom with more on how this money will certainly help. This money is to build, renovate, or modernize public housing in communities across the state of Indiana. I spoke with Tony Anderson at the Sullivan Housing Authority this afternoon. She told me how helpful this funding is. You'll see on your screen the eight public housing authorities in the Wabash Valley that will benefit from this funding. Terre Haute received the most funding with over $2 million. Sullivan Housing Authority netted just over half a million dollars this year. Executive Director at Sullivan Housing Authority, Tony Anderson, says this funding is determined in part by how well-kept cities' public housing units are. She says Sullivan is fortunate in that not all cities are lucky enough to receive these beneficial funds. We've been really lucky here that our properties have always been well maintained and, uh, you know, we're able to, to, to keep them that way. Anderson tells me the money will be used at four public housing sites in Sullivan, Sunrise Towers, Parkview Terrace, Court Plaza, and Sullivan Manor, which is family housing. She says the funding will go towards roof replacements and repairing sidewalks, patios, and parking lots. They also have other projects in the works that this funding will help immensely. We are very lucky that we've got housing to help those in need here in Sullivan and that Congress in the last two or three years have been a little more generous in their funding. And we wouldn't be able to do it without this money. In total, HUD awarded $2.7 billion across the United States, all to help improve and preserve public housing. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Dominic Miranda, News 10.